Well, isn't it about time that we talk about self-love on this channel? The strangest thing occurred to me the other day. Ever since I was in like eighth grade, I've been a super big advocate for loving yourself and spreading positivity and joy and ultimately just living your best life, you know? But I've never really talked about it in depth on my channel before, which is a little strange because I would have thought that that would have been my very first video that I made. But maybe this was a sign from God that I had to get a little bit of YouTube experience before I made a video like this. So I'm here to get honest with you guys with my tea and my late night vibes. It is 11 p.m. So I was very fortunate growing up because my family, especially my mom, have always been very supportive of me and very loving towards me but there does come a point in your life where people telling you to love yourself is not quite the same as you genuinely inside yourself feeling that love for yourself and i definitely went through that middle school high school phase of always wanting to compare myself to other people and never really loving myself in the way that I needed to be. I feel like especially in the culture that we live in, it's surrounded so heavily by, oh, well, if this Kardashian went and got lip injections, then in order for me to be pretty, I need to get lip injections. And oh, this celebrity has perfect skin. And so until I have perfect skin, I will never be pretty. And all of these stupid things that we spend so much time thinking about in our lives when in reality those things aren't all that important and it's actually really bad for you to compare yourself to other people there are so many people on our planet i think there's close to eight billion or seven billion i think eight close to eight billion people on our planet and I have never seen two people that look exactly the same and have the exact same personality and are here on the earth to do the exact same thing. I really do believe that everyone on this planet is here for their own purpose and for their own thing and they are meant to live their own life. They are not meant to be exactly like someone else and I feel like if there is a higher power that sent you on this earth to live your life, then you should live it the way that you were called to live it. And centering your entire life around trying to be someone else is really just going to be a disappointment to the world. Your life has its own purpose and because of that, I truly think that that makes you unique and that makes you special and that makes you a wonderful, beautiful human being. And I don't think that living your whole life to try to live up to certain standards is going to make you happy or is going to help you love yourself. If you go out and you live your entire life to please others, you're gonna be pretty miserable. And I feel like that's why so many people complain and feel like they're not enough because when all you do your whole life is try to please other people, you are never gonna feel like you're enough because everyone sees a different version of you. Everyone wants to see a different version of you. And so if you were your true authentic self all the time, there is no possible way that you could 100% please every single person around you. Although there's a lot of good that has come out of social media being such a big part of everyone's lives, I definitely do think that it hinders us from being our true selves because we're always seeing other people living this perfect version of their lives that's not even realistic and we somehow feel like we need to be living our life the same way. But if all of us were trying to live the exact same life, that would be 
pretty boring. You are your own person and you have your own life, your own goals, your own friends, your own family. And so trying to compare your life to other people's lives and finding ways to make your life seem terrible is really going to be unhealthy for you, especially in the long run. And also, I really don't like when people on social media are always like, you need to love you for you and you are exactly who you are right now and you don't have to change for anyone or anything and like all this stuff. If you want to be in shape and you want to look healthy, then work out and eat well. If you want to be an intelligent person, then put some hard work into learning. Just because you were born a certain way does not mean that you can't work towards being someone that you're proud of. This does get tricky though because then some people will be disgusted with themselves because they won't be where they feel like they need to be. But at the same time, if you can't sit down and have a real conversation with yourself about who you want to be and how you want to act, then that just shows that you don't have a very strong relationship with yourself. The thing is though, if you're gonna go out and change your hair color so that you look prettier, or if you're gonna go and work out every day, do that because you want to do it. Do it because you feel like you want to grow for yourself. Don't do it because your friends say that you should. Don't do it because a celebrity on social media is doing it. Do it because you feel like that's what's best for you. Not what's best for everyone that probably don't even care as much about your life as you think that they do. As you think they do. I'm tired. Also, another thing about this is everyone has flaws. There is not one human being, no matter how much they might want to portray themselves, there, there is not one person that is perfect. So ultimately, striving for perfection is only gonna let you down. And you're gonna feel really empty inside if you're always trying to be the most perfect version of yourself. Who you are right now is enough and you can make yourself better, but you can never make yourself perfect. I'm pretty sure the only perfect person that ever walked on this planet was Jesus and none of y'all are Jesus. So trying to strive for absolute perfection is completely unattainable. You can't, however, strive to be a better person every day. There is always room for improvement. You can always try to be a better friend. You can always try to be a better wife or husband or girlfriend or boyfriend or brother, or sister, or cousin, you can always strive to be a better person. But striving per... <sighs> but striving for absolute perfection is only gonna let you down. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret, probably because it is now 12, and I'm exhausted because this is sleepy time tea. I wanted to start YouTube back when I was in eighth grade, at that time, I think I was obsessed with Emma Chamberlain and I was obsessed with Summer McKean and I wanted so desperately to have my own fan base, to have my own merchandise that had my name on it and I wanted to be able to make change in the world for the better. I wanted to be like an inspirational YouTube channel that always talked about how to make your life wonderful and like fix everyone's problems, but I was too insecure with my own self to do that. And so instead I made an Instagram. I still have the Instagram. I might link it down in the description or put a little nice little thing here for you to read. But because I was insecure with how I looked, I didn't want to start YouTube. So I went to Instagram instead and I don't regret doing that. I made a lot of friends doing that and I made quite a big impact on more than a few people. I would always get DMs of people asking me for life advice and stuff and I would do the best that I could as little eighth grade me and a lot of times I would actually help them a lot. But whenever people would ask me 
How do I get better at loving myself? How do I become confident? I would give them these basic Google search answers that I knew for myself were never actually gonna help me. And I really felt like a liar sometimes because I would be giving this advice to people but then I would never take it myself. And so instead, it took me many more years to actually start YouTube. I'm 19 now and I just started YouTube like a couple of months ago. And I'm really glad that I finally did it, but I do feel like if I started way back then, I would be in such a different place with my channel by now. I would be so much better at editing. I would maybe have some sort of at least little fan base to talk to, a safe space online. And so even though I did start late, I'm glad that I did. But still to this day, I always regret not, not <laughs> But to this day, I still regret not starting sooner because I actually really love doing YouTube, even though it's a lot of work and I don't really get anything out of it right now. It's still a lot of fun for me and I enjoy doing it. And I knew that I was gonna enjoy doing it way back in eighth grade before I did. But because I was so scared of what other people would think or because I was so insecure in my own self, I wasn't able to do it until much later. But something that I really learned from that was starting late does not make you a failure. And it's better to start something and fail at it, or not even fail at it, but just not be happy about your results than to never do it at all. And I know I'm not some 90 year old woman with all of this great wisdom, but I do really think that it's better to live with regrets of things that you did do versus regrets of things that you didn't do. When I have kids or when I have grandkids or even having my nieces and stuff when they're older and I can have deep talks with them, I want to be able to look at my life and be proud of what I did do and not regretting the things that I didn't do, the chances that I didn't take. And yes, it does take a lot of confidence and a lot of self love and discipline in order to do certain things but ultimately if you can get to a point in your life where you just love yourself so much and you just want to live your life so badly that you go out and do what you want to do that's going to be much better for you than living your whole life hating yourself and wishing that you did things i have been talking for so long and my legs have completely fallen asleep because I've been sitting crisscross applesauce for like two and a half hours. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but my voice is getting a little bit strained because I am exhausted and my throat doesn't want to talk anymore. <laughs> but basically, in summary of this video, you are your own person. You are your own person. You live your own life. And it shouldn't matter to you what other people think about you. If you want to be a better person and you want to do good things in the world, then go ahead and do it, but do it for you. Don't do it because someone is asking you to or because you feel like you'll be accepted by society for living a certain way. And if that causes you to lose some friends, then so be it. There are so many people on this planet and the universe is always gonna look out for you. And ultimately in life, everything is gonna turn out okay. And even if things don't turn out okay, then you're gonna learn from them. And it's gonna make you a better person either way. So I hope that you took at least one thing from this video. I kind of talked about a lot of stuff, kind of a little bit of a brain dump there, <laughs> but I still hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, if you watched to this point, then you probably enjoyed something. Either that or you're just really loyal, so thank you. But if you did like this video, please let me know by giving it a like down below and commenting something nice. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I usually don't do sit down, brain dump, word vomit videos like this, but if you guys like it, then I can do more because this was actually really nice for me. And yeah, I post every single Friday, so I hope to see you next week. But until then, please stay hydrated and I will see you then. I gave you a kiss and you're welcome. Now you should give yourself a kiss too. Because this is about self-love, so love yourself. Okay, bye.